Hey everyone, this is Hong, the photo editor at Wonderful Machine. And this is Joey, a designer at Wonderful Machine. So today we're going to look at Edis Yurchis's website. He is a Portland-based photographer. And Joey, what are your first initial reactions to looking at this? Uh, one reaction is that right now the website isn't utilizing the size of the screen very well. Mm -hmm. It's a very small um, website in general. And I think one thing um, that we will do when we are doing his web template customization is properly utilize the screen so that we can have his big, beautiful images displayed mm -hmm. properly. Yeah, and what about the colors, too? Uh, the colors are a little bit heavy. It uh, adds a lot of weight to the website. Mm -hmm. Something like a white um, makes everything feel a lot looser and, and uh, open. So that's something we'll also be taking into account. Okay, I mean, from looking at this, it seems like the last time he touched this website was in 2009. Um, so I guess it is time for him to revamp his website. Um, and it doesn't seem like he has a logo either. It's just a basic font on yeah, here. Yeah, no real branding, just um, his name in a, uh, a typeface. Yeah, and that's something you'll be working on too, right, for this mm -hmm. one? Okay, I mean, from looking at this, there's just a lot of information. Um, right away, you just you're not really sure if he's a photographer or it's kind of difficult for me at least to look at this because it doesn't look like a typical website for a photographer but um, let's just go through his menu let's look at his information um, I mean, for me first of all there's a lot of text and the chili here reminds me of like a Thai food place where it's like this is very spicy <laughs> yes he's won a lot of spicy awards <laughs> yeah and uh, one thing also uh, is that there are two links to further read into his about and oh, his right videography here. um we generally oh. try and steer people away from burying information and part of this is because of how small the website is he yeah. had to link out in order to Proper, put all of his information that he wants there. So once the website's a lot bigger, all of this information can sit comfortably on the page. But yeah, that's a really good point for his about it. I think there's way too much going on here. And the mm -hmm. fact that you have to link to the next page. And it'd also be nice to see a picture of him. Yeah, that would be really good too. And it's strange that his contact is down here. I think it's always nice to kind of put mm -hmm. the info and contact together just to consolidate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that we can do once we start working on this. So let's actually see his images. Um, from looking at his sections, I realized that it says corporate, and so you're kind of expecting, you know, business environment, um, working space. And yeah, you see it, and then it becomes like this Adidas portrait and kind of a classroom workspace, industrial, and goes back to, I think, classroom or even a conference room so it's and then a portrait of this man and this is a little off I think um, so overall I just I'm not sure if the categories here are working out for him same with editorial just by looking at it it's jumbled there's education on here which I think he does really good education work but it is buried within the yeah. editorial that clients who go on his website aren't gonna mm. know that Ed is shoots education so again I think it's more about picking and choosing what he actually wants to shoot and then really displaying it for all of us to see instead of us having to <laughs> click through all these and look at it. Yeah, and one thing to note about these galleries is that um, instead of having thumbnails or um, arrows to navigate, you have to hover over these black squares. Yeah, I just and noticed that. You don't click them, you <laughs> hover over top of them. Uh, so you don't, like if you wanted to go back to Edis' website and find a certain photo, it, it would be a little hard to navigate mm -hmm. and find it. Um, and especially with these hover states, if you were to move your mouse the wrong way, you would jump to a new photo. Mm -hmm. So that's something um, that we can improve upon uh, when we start working on a new template for him. Yeah, and I think his pictures are very, very small too. And I mean, for me, if it's a photographer's website, the main thing you want to see are the photos. That should be the biggest thing on their page. Mm -hmm. And right now it's kind of, it's not as a big deal as um, it should be. And that, that's another problem with the homepage is that half of the real estate in the homepage was being taken up by a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is the photo. Okay. And looking at industrial, I think this is his strongest section because every image you think industrial when you see these. So. Um, I know that's something that we're going to work on for sure is have an industrial section and education for now. And then he has stock on here, which is not very necessary. You can just put that under archive. I know he's shooting more motion recently, so if he can have and at click least... on one of these videos? Yeah, sure. 
Okay. So that's one thing that's actually nice about the videos are embedded. It's not linking out to an external site. So you don't yeah. have to leave the site in order to watch these videos. Yeah, and I think the template that you have um, for him would feature. Yes, we'll be able um, to have the same sort of functionality. Cool. All right. And then we have photo of the week. I've never actually seen this on someone's website. It's more of a blog feature, mm -hmm. photo of the week. And looking at it, the last time we had a photo was kind of last year. So it's February of the 2013. And the one before that was in 2012. Yeah. So it becomes more photo of the year instead of the week. Puts a lot of pressure on these photos. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I think it's a nice thing to have on here. It's fun, but this is something that should be on his blog, which he doesn't have yet. And so that's something we can tell him to start doing mm -hmm. if he wants to do um, something fun like photo of the yeah. week. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've been through and gone through all of the features on here. Overall, I think Edis just needs an edit and really kind of hone his skills and see what he wants to shoot. And then from there, we can start categorizing it and just making it more organized because right now you really don't know what his strengths are and what he really likes shooting and what he wants to shoot. And um, yeah, design-wise, I think it's going to be a big, mm -hmm. big change. Yeah, once those edits are done, we'll be able to have like a very finely tuned website for him. Yeah, I'm really excited to start those. Yeah, me too. All right, see you guys later. Later. All right, so here is Edis's new website. It looks completely different, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks brand new and clean and open. Yeah, um, I mean, so... This is Squarespace, right, that we used? Yep, this is the Squarespace Wells template, and the Wells template prominently displaying Edis's brand new logo, as well as having his images sized to the screen, not mm -hmm. uh, very small like yeah. they used to be. I like this. And then you also have um, an overview thumbnails where you can actually see the images. and Yeah, as opposed to the blind uh, linear way that you were able to view the images before. Yeah, and... Um, Let's see. And with the menu, it's completely organized and very straight to the point. Before, um, he was just kind of showing everything and anything, and so now it's more concise. Mm -hmm. And after looking at his images, we ended up picking the strongest specialties, and that was education and industrial, which we have here. And then we also have um, his motion work, too, that we included. And I think we decided to split this too because this is more of his main portfolio and this was more personal projects, um, which is behind the rodeo. And I really liked what we did here too. I think it has, um, what is this, SEO? And it's, it's yes, yeah, since it's live text, uh, yeah. all of the text within there is searchable. So if somebody was to be searching cowboys in Oregon or what mm -hmm. have you, uh, Edis's images would probably show up eventually yeah. and then we have his about page no more chilies here but yeah. we do have red colors so that kind of makes it a little yep. chilly <laughs> red chilies well done huh yeah and i really like this a lot because you have his bio and it's really quirky and fun and you actually know who he is because we have his image here too and he makes the best bread in portland which we have to try um <laughs> and he has his contacts here and it's clients and AB, it's an ABC order, is it? I believe so. Oh, it looks pretty decent here. And then he has the little button um, directing it to our website. Yeah, so I think overall it's a really good uh, web template change and a web edit change. Yeah, and this is going to be uh, much easier for Edis to update new work to and um, be able to add more and more to his website as his portfolio grows. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks.